What you're looking at is a, is a teenager, and I first met him at a church in San Francisco. At the end of the church service, I had a chance to talk to lots of people, and I realized that there were a whole bunch of pastors that I was praying for as well as the... This boy comes up to me and gives me a huge hug, and he says, I'm healed. Now, it turns out his mom and dad are both senior pastors of a church, and they were just in shock because they said He's, he never does anything like this. They said, you just prayed for a boy who's autistic. And they said they, they don't see him doing things like going up to a stranger and giving him a hug, and he never say things like, I'm healed. He's... They said he's been struggling since he was a kid. He's, you know, a little kid. So they were really amazed. We were seeing wonderful healings that night. They got healed. His parents got healings. Their emotional issues. One pastor came up to me who had pain over every inch of his body. I have a picture of him, a big smiley picture. He was healed. And we were seeing wonderful healings. And so this family, they have a church that they are pastoring. After a while, they invited me to come and do a healing event at their church. I went to the church, and the first thing that happens is this boy comes up to me, and he gives me another big hug, and he says, I'm still healed. So I thought, wow, he remembers me, and he's still healed? That's really good. Had the event at the church, and the first thing that happened was the mom and dad get up, and they tell the testimony of their time with me, at the church in San Francisco. And they shared their healing. It was really precious. They said they had never felt such peace. They said the medical and spiritual prayers had a great effect on them. Then the boy gets up on stage and he talks to the whole church family and tells about how he's healed. Afterwards, the mom shares with me from the time he had first gotten healed in that church meeting in San Francisco to now, she said her son, who he can't even get through high school. She said, it's impossible. He's got all the learning disabilities and he had the social isolation and he had all this stuff with autism. And she said, since you prayed for him, she said, let me show you the next picture. In a very short period of time, he passed all the high school stuff. Not only did he pass all the high school stuff, he's going into college. He went from being an autistic kid who can't even get through high school and can be socially isolated to giving big hugs and, and saying I'm healed and, and now he's going on to college.